in hard times, your values get tested. Now, we can talk about this current situation in the world, and it's a perfect example of how your values, personal values, values on relationships, you know, values when it comes to work and business, all of these things for everybody are getting tested. Doesn't matter what side of the spectrum you're on, doesn't matter what you believe, what you think needs to be done. There's a lot of division and conflict and your values are being tested regardless, right? So this is a perfect example to illustrate this point. But that being said, let's talk about business specifically. In times like this, in times of maximum pessimism, you need to know why, the keyword is why, you're in the business you're in. So there's two questions here. Question number one is, why are you in the business you're in? If there's ever a time to sit down and take audit and inventory of yourself, your goals, your vision for your future, what you want to create over the next year, the next three years, the next five years, seven years, 10 years, the next decade after this, to pivot off of this opportunity that we have right now, it's now. The time would be now to sit down and say, why am I in the business I'm in? What's the real reason? And if your reason is superficial and you know that's not really the real reason or you just can't get it, keep asking the why. For example, why am I in this job I'm in or why am I in this business I'm in? To earn money. Why? Well, I need money to pay my bills. Why? Well, because I want to live like this. Why? Well, because uh, I feel you know good living like this. I want a house. I want a car. I want to be making 100K a year. Why? Because I want to travel. Why? Because I want to experience life. Why? Because life is short and there's just, you know, I just want to travel and experience life and expand and take what's there while I'm here. Why? You know, because I want to have great relationships and give back to my family and my partner and experience life with them. Why? Because at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Okay. So I'm doing what I'm doing today because at the end of the day, meaningful relationships and meaningful experiences are what life boils down to. So everything I do today, when I walk into work, when I'm closing a deal, when I'm on a sales call, when I'm prospecting, it's because I want to have that final outcome of meaningful relationships, meaningful experiences. And I want to create that final outcome for myself. I want to create that life for myself. So that is why I'm in the business I'm in, right? So that's an example of you guys going through that whole process until you come to that conclusion for yourself. For me, that's really it. I gave you guys my own conclusion. That's pretty much my mindset. At the end of the day, I've realized in sales and business through my decade plus of experience, all the different industries I've been a part of, all the different, everything all together, it comes down to having meaningful relationships with the closest people to you, being able to provide for them, being able to give back, being able to contribute and having meaningful experiences, like real rich, meaningful experiences in life. That's what it all boils down to. That the work, the grinding, the hard work, whatever, the strategy, the time, the investments, everything, it all boils down to that, to creating that eventually. That's the final outcome. The investments, everything, it all boils down to that. So for me, one of my values is to live a truly fulfilled life on my own terms. The second part is extremely important to me, on my own terms. So to, for me to do that, that is why I'm in the business I'm in, for example. So I'm giving you guys my train of thought to get to that. So I want you guys to do that for yourself and really figure out what your own values are because in hard times, your values will be tested. And if you don't know what they are, the outcome won't be pretty. So question number one, why are you in the business you're in? Question number two, just to wrap this concept up, what do you want to do? <laughs> I know it sounds funny. It's just a straightforward question, but it's also a deep question if you really dig deeper into it. What do you want to do? Why are you in the business you're in? And what do you want to do? What do you want to do with it? Where do you want to take it? What is the vision? Are you clear on that? So in hard times, times of maximum pessimism, your values will get tested. So you need to know your values and you need to know why you're in the business you're in and what you want to do with it or from it or through it. Make sense?